welcome to this session on how to create your first automation test in Catalon Studio. So in Catalon Studio, there are three basic ways of creating your test case. You can record and replay. You can use the manual mode and then there is a script mode. Let's get started and look at all these three modes. So the first one is record and replay where you can quickly record your test cases. Let us go to our Catalon Studio and I'm clicking on this new Catalon project. So you can give any name here and click on OK. And now we have our project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to this new and I will create a test case. Let's give it any name. Sample test case and click OK. And now I have this test case editor and here is the record button. So here you can click on this record button and it will give you a window for starting your recording. You can give the URL of your website here and then you can start recording on any of these browsers. It will capture all the objects and it will capture all the actions and it will give you a recorded test case. So this is how you can do record and replay. Some of the major features of this mode are you can quickly record your test cases. It will capture your actions and your objects. You can then edit your recorded steps and then you can replay it on any of the available browsers. The second one is the manual mode where you can manually add the actions and keywords into your test case. Let us go to our test case and if you go down you have this manual tab. Click here and you will get this window. You can click on this add button and you can add a keyword. You can add decision making statements and other statements and methods. So let us click on web UI keyword and here you will get all the options to add your keywords and then you can add your object references input output and description and so on and so you can create your entire test case in the manual mode. Some of the major features of manual mode are you can add your keywords and actions stepwise. You can refer to any of the captured objects. You can also drag and drop the keywords directly into the manual text editor. And then you can replay it with using any of the available browsers. We will look into this into more details in the coming sessions. The last one is the script mode where you can script using Java or Groovy languages. Let us go to our Catalon Studio and again if you go down, you can see this is the script mode. Click here and you will have this window coming up. You can start scripting your test cases. You can add your keywords, you can add objects and your customized keywords. So this is more like you will do a scripting in Selenium using Java and you can use Groovy as well here. And uh, it is very intuitive. We will look into the next sessions how exactly we can use this mode. Some of the major features of script mode are you can start creating your test cases through scripting. You can use Java Groovy. You can drag and drop objects directly into the scripts and then you can replay with any of the available browsers. Some quick tips. When you start creating your test cases, you can use all the three modes to prepare your final automated test. Ideally, you can start with the recording of your test so that you have all your steps and objects captured and then you can go to the manual mode and do the editing and updates as per your requirement. You might have to go to the script mode where you want to add some more customized actions and then you can replay your created test. So today we looked at these three modes of creating your automation test. In the next section, we will start our hands-on with the record and replay mode. I hope this session was useful to you. In case you have any doubts or questions, please do write them down in the comments section and I will try to reply as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and keep learning.